Today in America, we have a dichotomy going on in almost every industry. And I myself face it every day when I do my audio casts in terms of what I think, what I feel, and what I blast versus what really happens to me. What I find unique about American culture today is we have something now going on probably caused by the porn industry, probably caused, caused by the lack of pastors being able to promote Christ today, and openly, totally uh, without cause. What I mean is that we have a problem brewing and stewing in America called human trafficking. It first begins with the trafficking of gossip and information about someone. It then takes hold into the concept of human trafficking someone's body or their parts and organs. And that's something we learned about in the 80s with films by Jackie Chan. But the sex industry that is overtaking American countries and worlds across the seas are really a problem for God, you see. Because in the Bible it has made it perfectly clear that God has created everyone across the spectrum. In the Bible it also talks about how there's this bipolarity or this bicultural citizen or what should we say as this binary system of men versus women but what we know is that God right, likes variety and therefore there is a bit of flexibility in the world today especially within our society of what makes a woman and a man the problem we have with religious right people is that they are focusing so fucking much on the human body that they are denying the souls that God makes and as a part of that situation, I have to say to the entire nation that religious right people are an abomination to the Lord. Because their attitude is, I own you. Their attitude is, I can tell you what God makes, and that's already clear to the rest of the world, but you think you've got to retell it to us as if, for some reason, God made a mistake. And for that alone, it's offensive to the Lord. Because God doesn't make mistakes is what we learned in the Bible that everything is pure and whole is mainly true. But what you think is that the body outweighs the soul and motherfucker, it just doesn't. The body does not drift up to heaven or down to, whole, to hell. The body decomposes over the course of our lifetime with cellular degeneration, the aging process, and then we bring ourselves back through soul to the house of the Lord. The soul strings of our life are the people that we want in our life, like someone we want for a wife or a husband. But here's what we know. People tend to pick those life partners, those business partners, based on the human body or their personality instead of the soul.